The stabilizing effect of children in unions has been documented by numerous researchers. According to the new household economics theory, children are investment capitals in unions, with this capital raising both the attractiveness of staying in unions as well as the exiting or termination costs. As it turns out, a child's gender influences the stabilizing effects of children on a union. In countries like China, the relationship between children and divorce is negative, with having a son providing a more protective layer to the union. In India, having at least one son insulates a marriage or a union from disruption. From an economic perspective, investing more in sons than daughters results in engendering more marital-specific capital. Otherwise put, parents gain more long-term benefits in the union by investing more in sons than daughters. Other sources suggest that couples with sons have a lower likelihood of separating compared to those with daughters only. From a sociological standpoint, fathers being expected to be role model for sons translates into investing more time into raising sons than daughters. The greater participation of fathers in raising sons compared to daughters reduces the risk of marital disruption by boosting familial solidarity. Fathers with sons are more involved in the family due to a greater sense of commitment and obligation. A child's gender doesn't affect the divorce risk of one child mothers, but there is an increased likelihood of divorce or separations for mothers parenting children of the same sex compared to those of different sexes. The stabilizing effect of a child's gender changes over time, a reflection of a shift in societal values. For instance, the higher rates of divorce for parents with daughters in America faded off in the 80s as the society inclined itself towards egalitarianism.